We're going to be a tough, uh, gritty, defensive-minded basketball team. Uh, I want to win every game. We're not going to win every game. Uh, so I want to win the games when we don't shoot it particularly well. Uh, that's going to happen. Uh, we've got some very good players that know how to put the ball in the basket, and we will continue to bring those players to this campus. Uh, but I want to be a tough-minded team, a team that grind out wins. Uh, on the flip side, uh, I like playing an up-tempo style of basketball. Uh, we're going to get up and down the floor. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's the way I, I like to coach. Uh, I assume uh, and I'm hoping our players enjoy playing that way. And uh, I hope you fans enjoy watching it. Uh, we're going to try to play an exci exci exciting style, exciting brand of basketball. And for more on Middle Tennessee men's basketball, we welcome in the head coach, Nick McDevitt. Coach, great to have you with us. A belated congratulations on getting the gig. What's life been like for you so far there in Murfreesboro? Uh, it's been great. A little hectic, but it's uh, it's been really good. Um, we're, we're trying to get moved over from Asheville little by little. Uh, obviously, our, our family is still in transition uh, with a, a four-year-old and a seven-week-old. Uh, so uh, that's that's what's going on at home, and at the same time, we're we're trying to get comfortable here at Middle Tennessee and uh, getting used to things here in Murfreesboro and on campus. So uh, it's a little bit uh, hectic, but the folks here in Murfreesboro have been uh, great and welcoming to our family. So we're enjoying our time. A new job and a new board. I don't know if I envy your situation or not, but I know you're looking forward to to great things that lie ahead there at Middle Tennessee. You mentioned. Coming over from UNC Asheville, you spent five years there. What are the biggest things you learned there that you will bring to you there at Middle? Well, I think, uh, you know, obviously uh, we're not trying to come in and reinvent the wheel because of uh, the things, the, the amount of success that, uh, uh, that uh, Coach Davis and his staff have had here at Middle Tennessee and uh, a lot of the things that are in place already here uh, lead to winning. Uh, that's That's been proven, but... Uh, at the same time, you have to do things uh, the way you see fit and kind of be your own person, your own man. And uh, that's what we're trying to do little by little here is uh, kind of set the tone, uh, develop the culture that uh, we feel like we'll need uh, day in and out, day in and day out going forward. So uh, that's a little bit what we're doing piece by piece, uh, not only in uh, what we're doing with our current players, but what we do and what we talk about and the message that we're sending and recruiting as well. So. Uh, really just trying to, uh, you know, set the foundation that, that looking back, I think that was something that was, um, you know, really beneficial, something that uh, we did well at Asheville is that was uh, early, take our time, make sure that we were doing things uh, the right way. Uh, I'd rather uh, do things the right way and perhaps go a little bit slower than, than go really fast and make mistakes. So uh, that's kind of what we're trying to do right now is, uh, make sure that our current players as well as future players uh, understand what this program is going to be about. Speaking of future players, you got your first signee and Reggie Scurry, a transfer from Missouri State. What does he bring to your program? Uh, I think he brings a level of uh, versatility, uh, athleticism. Uh, I, I think he can guard multiple positions on the defensive end of the floor. He can do multiple things offensively. Uh, he has the ability to, to stretch the floor a little bit and, and make mid-range as well as three-point shots. Uh, he's pretty good around the basket. It's really long. He's about 6'5 and a half, 6'6", six, six, but has a 7'2 wingspan. Uh, so he plays a little bit bigger than his height says he is. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, I think that's beneficial uh, on both ends of the floor, particularly uh, the way that uh, we like to play. So really looking forward to having Reggie out there. I know I don't need to remind you of all the success here in recent years at Middle Tennessee and, and what they've been able to accomplish 25 and 8 a year ago. But for you, how would you define success in your first season there? Uh, again, just starting to set the foundation for what lies ahead. Uh, you know, we, we hope to, to be here for a long time. I was at Asheville for 21 years, both as a player, uh, assistant coach, and head coach. So uh, two decades uh, is a long time. And uh, I think it was just, uh, watch, looking back, it was important that uh, we were just consistent in the way we approach things. Uh, my boss, Eddie Biedenbach, uh, who's also my uh, college coach, did a great job of uh, being consistent, again, in his messaging, uh, uh, the way he went about his business, the way he 
uh, taught us as players the way he taught me and, and helped mentor me as an assistant coach. Uh, he was just um, day in and day out was really good about not overreacting to things when, uh, you know, getting too high when things were good or getting too low when things were not so good. And uh, that's really what we're trying to do here. Uh, you know, as I said, I was at Asheville for 21 years. Uh, Murfreesboro is a, a place that I could see myself as well as our family for a long time to come. And so what we're trying to do is uh, set ourselves up for future successes by really having a, a strong foundation with our program. And uh, that has to start early. And that's really what we're doing right now. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck to you in all the transition, not only with the job, but the home life as well. And congrats on the job and the, the new member of your family. And best of luck to you there in Murfreesboro in year one and, and through the offseason here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.